Okay, team, we're going to go over this math problem. I wanted you all to um, do a little number crunching in this class, mostly because you know we're well-rounded people when it comes to working on rivers and working with the outdoors. Um, we can manage, um, you know, big trips. We can um, um, do the books right to make sure our business is viable. And, and if we need to calculate how much flow or volume of water we need in the river so that we can recreate on it, then that's something we should be able to do as well. And for this problem, what we're gonna be doing is taking, um, a, a calculating a volume of water in acre feet, and I'll define that in a second. That would be required, um, say we're gonna bring water down from Root Eye Reservoir, we talked about that for the 15 mile reach in town, where um, the Colorado Water Trust might purchase water for a given year when the river's really low in town in the summer and shepherd that water um, out of the reservoir down the stream um, to the Orchard Mesa Irrigation um, Hydropower Plant. That's where the water right is. And it would go through the power plant and dump into the river. And then it would be um, just flowing down the river for the 15 mile reach for the endangered fish and also um, for downtown Grand Junction and Riverside Park. Um, so that would be the kind of example for this problem. Now, what we're looking at is 810 CFS, so cubic feet per second. And 810 CFS is that threshold when the flow in the Colorado River in town goes below that, that we have to stop diverting water for the um, Riverside Park, the park that, uh, that side channel that everyone likes to recreate in in the summer and cool off. So once it goes below that, we have to shut it off. Uh, we can't float down it anymore. We can float on it, but it's just not flowing, right? Um, and we need to keep all the water in the main stem so that the fish that are now in the main stem in the summer actually have enough water to like move up and down and, and um, be viable. Okay, so let's say that it's a summer, it's a hot, dry, long summer, we're still in the drought, and we only have 600 CFS in the main stem, 600 cubic feet per second flowing by on average through the month of July, so 31 days in July. So what we're gonna do is say, well, how much volume of water would it take to get from 600 CFS up to 810 CFS so that we can run the Riverside Park over 31 days, right? Because this is a flow rate and this is um, a time period. And then we can use these pieces of information to back calculate the volume in acre feet. So the first thing we wanna do is actually define what an acre foot is. We did this in class, but let's just review. So one acre foot, so AF. And um, what this is, is an area. So first, actually, I'm just gonna erase that real quick. First we have, we start off with an acre, which is an area. And so acre has units of length times length, which is equal to length squared, right? Area is length squared. And then it's an acre foot. So it's what it is, it's an acre times one foot. And that gives us a volume. So it's really just one foot deep. It's one acre. And then this is one foot. So one foot deep across one acre, you kind of think of this as a foot of water on a football field, essentially. And that gives us um, one acre foot. And I write it this way, acre dot foot, because it's kind of like times, right? Acre times feet. And this is a volume. So we have length squared times length, right? A foot is just length. This is length times length. And that gives us length cubed and length cubed is equal to a volume. Okay, so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go from Q, which is our flow rate, cubic feet per second. We're gonna multiply that by time and we're gonna have to go from seconds to days, right? Because it's over 31 days. And then that is gonna give us when we do time on the um, top and time on the bottom, we can eventually cross those out and we do the right conversion factors and we're left with volume. Um, so that's going to be step one and step two is going to take this volume, which would be cubic feet and make it to answer, uh, make it to acre feet. So that's the second step. All right, so let's do it. 
Um, so one, we just need to know how much water do we have to make up? We're at 600 CFS and um, we need to get up to um, 810 CFS. So uh, actually I'll just write it 810 first. 810 CFS minus 600 is equal to 210 CFS. And in the, um, uh, the problem on the quiz for this week, you'll probably have some different numbers in there. So just, just FYI. Okay, so now we have, this is what we have to make up. That's our Q. So two, now we're gonna do this part right here. So we're gonna convert the Q to a volume, right? By multiplying by time, we're gonna do two steps. All right, so we have um, 210 cubic feet per second times, and this is where we do our conversions, the number of seconds per one day. All right, so one day, how many seconds in a day? Well, there's a song, you might know it, um, 86,400 seconds per day. All right, and then now we say, well, okay, now we have cubic feet per day. So if we had 210 cubic feet per second for 24 hours, right, 86,400 seconds, then we would get cubic feet per day. But now we want to go over 31 days. So times 31 days. All right. And now here's the fun part. Because we're doing conversions, and we get to cross some stuff out. So we have day on the top, day on the bottom. It's just division, right? This is just a variable right here. And we're just going to cross that out because we have it on the bottom and the top, like a fraction. And then we have seconds on top, seconds on the bottom, cross it out. And now what are we left with? These are the only units that are left. We're left with the volume cubic feet per second. And the way to think about that is um, if you're filling up a pool or a bathtub, right? And you turn the, the hose on, there's a flow rate coming out, right? Cubic feet per second, gallons per minute, whatever that is, volume per time. Um, and you're filling that bathtub and you're timing it. So uh, I'm filling up the bathtub and I'm gonna turn the faucet on for two minutes and then I'm gonna turn it off. Well, what you're left with after that two minutes is the volume of water, right? It's not flowing anymore. It just is that flow rate over time translates to a volume, all right? And uh, whatever many cubic feet that would be. Okay, so now we've done that. We have to multiply these things out, right? This is all multiplication because everything's on top. The numbers are on top. And we end up with some number X, um, cubic feet, because that's what's left over. All right, now we're gonna do step three, which is this side. All right, and we're gonna go from cubic feet to acre feet. And this is a little bit not intuitive as well. So we're gonna start off with whatever that number is, x cubic feet, feet cubed. Um, and then I'm gonna write it in a little bit different way. That's gonna be x, feet squared times feet, all right? So this is an area, and then this is our depth. I didn't change anything. I just, I went from feet cubed to feet squared times feet, right? That's just like x squared times x is x cubed. Um, so the reason I did that is because acre feet is the same thing, right? It's acre, which is area, times foot, which is depth. All right, so the next step then is to say, well, how many feet squared in an acre? One acre, how many feet squared? If you know this off the top of your head, you might be a farmer um, or a land developer. Um, so that's 43,560 feet squared per acre. And the reason I wrote this this way is because we want acre on top, because that's what we want to keep, and we want to get rid of feet squared, right? So we're dividing by the number of feet squared per acre. And it makes sense to divide because there's more feet squared in an acre than there are acres and feet squared, right? So we're gonna divide by the number. So now I get to cross something else out. So let's do that. Cross out feet squared, cross out feet squared because I'm dividing, right? Dividing by feet squared. That's just the same as writing feet squared over feet squared and that's equal to one. So we get to cross it out, it doesn't matter. All right, now what are we left with? Uh, whatever our volume was in feet cubed, 
And the units that we're left with are foot times acre. That's the same thing as acre feet. So all we're doing is dividing this number by 43,560. And we end up with um, X over 43,560. And then the units are acre feet, acre times feet. And remember, this is a volume, right? Because it's area times depth, volume. And that would be your final answer. How many acre feet does it take? So the next step you could take here is, well, how much does it cost per acre foot, right? And um, I don't know what the going rate is, and maybe it depends on the year, but um, say it's $15, you could say, okay, 15 times my answer, and uh, that's how much money it's gonna cost to send that volume of water down from Root Eye Reservoir um, through, you know, metered out over time, 210 CFS, to um, bring the river up to 810 CFS in town. All right, a very long-winded way to solve this problem, but I wanted to um, give you guys a little exposure to it if it's something that you don't get a lot of in your other classes. And um, please feel free to email me with any questions. All right.